I met you at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype Yeah, but when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Today we're doing another product review We are going to be comparing two products one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and then the other one is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I did a poll on Instagram a couple of days ago and I was asking people which one do they use the most and which one do they prefer. And most people actually chose the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation as their preferred foundation. So today we're going to see why and we're going to see is Maybelline actually the best compared to the Wet n Wild Fit Me Foundation. You guys can also let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you prefer Maybelline or do you prefer the Wet n Wild Foundation? And after this video, I'm sure we all going to have clarity on who performs better. So if I zoom in on my um, on the screen, disclaimer guys, I applied moisturizer on my hair. So any white stuff that you see on my hair is actually just moisturizer. <laughs> so um, just yeah, on my screen, on my skin, zoomed in, you can see that I have imperfections on my skin on both sides, left and right. I have, yeah, a lot of imperfections. And so we're going to be seeing if the foundations will be able to cover those imperfections and give me that flawless look that we also desire. So first foundation that we're going to be trying out, well, the two foundations that we're going to be comparing is those two right here right the first one is the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 342 warm hazel i've been using maybelline for close to i don't know as long as i can remember ever since i could buy myself makeup i've just been using maybelline because it's the best for me but please believe that this won't be a biased video i will not choose maybelline if it disappoints me <laughs> and then this is my first time using the wet n wild foundation I don't know if I've actually ever used it, but I am pretty sure this is my first time using it. I'm going to be using the Coco shade. I'm not sure if this is my shade. The other reason why I use Maybelline as my usual foundation is because they've got a lot of shades and I realized that Wet n Wild, their shades, I'm not really sure about them. They don't seem to have a lot of shades for people who are not like brown or too light or too dark or something like that but yeah i'll explain what i mean once i've applied the shade i thought this was the closest shade that i could get to my skin complexion i have a very yeah specific shade and maybe lean fit me has that shade so i'm not sure maybe the clicks just didn't have um stock so i got both of those from clicks and yeah let me stop talking and let's just get to the comparison so the maybelline fit me foundation okay <laughs> yeah okay cool i'm not actually nervous about this one because i've been using maybelline for some time now so i know how this one is going to look keep breaking next when you passing them by make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe let's be forever tonight and i will let you make up your mind but i can't wait when you coming over let me be your sofa Okay, I think we're pretty much done with Maybelline. Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is how the Maybelline foundation looks. Okay. I don't know if it's covered everything, but this is how it looks on my skin right now. And this is the side without any foundation or products on it. And then the two compared to each other. So this half has the Maybelline and then this half has completely nothing. But this half is then going to have um, the Wet n Wild foundation. Okay guys, this is how it looks. I look very yellow this side, but then I like the fact that it's like even. It's like, it's like one complexion because I feel like my face has got like three complexions. It's got like this complexion, that complexion, this complexion, and then it's got this complexion. So I don't know. 
So now we're going to be applying the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, this one right here on the left hand side of my face, on the left side, left hand side, on the left side of my face. Okay, cool. So I've tried to clean my brush up as much as I can from the Maybelline product. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of the foundation on my hand so that I can switch on a brush. Okay, so hey guys, I'm not so sure about this shade. Hey, it looks <laughs> very light compared to my complexion. Um, but let's just see how it goes. So this is what shade is this again? Um, this is a cocoa shade. Yeah, photo focus cocoa shade, and it says that it's matte. Okay. Yo. Nothing says the foundation ever long, la. Oh no no no! The difference, guys. <laughs> It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Okay. <laughs> this cannot be my shade. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a clown on camera today. Can't recall when you came through that door, yeah. Glowing like a headlight, independent all the way, got her bread right, yeah. Hard to ignore, sexy body make a jaw hit the floor. Won't you come over now? Just let me hold you down. Nothing else matching your type, nothing else matching your type, yeah. Oh, I feel the magic in the air. Okay, guys, I am back. <laughs> okay, so I've applied Maybelline, um, the Fit Me Foundation, on the right hand side of my face, which is this side. Now, the cons of the Maybelline is that it's true to complexion, it looks like it's meant for humans and it looks like it i think their shades are very warm maybelline does a very good job with shades for black people like warm shades and yeah they do a very good job at that and it's easy to blend the con with maybelline is that all the disadvantage with maybelline is that it doesn't really do much covering um like you can see my dark spots and my um I don't know what to call them. My skin tags or my freckles are like still showing a little bit. And this dark natural contour line that I have is still showing a lot. And um, yeah, but then the other advantage with Maybelline is that it's got some kind of moisturizer on their foundation because like I have very flaky skin. So my skin gets very dry, especially when I apply makeup. It gets very dry and then it gets flaky, kind of like it's peeling off. So you can see on my nose, that's where it's very bad, like where the flakiness is very bad. With the Maybelline side, it's okay. Like I don't have that much flaky skin. But on the side where I applied the Wet n Wild, I can see the flakiness of the skin, like where my skin is actually telling me I am very dry this side so let me know if you guys can see that but yeah you can see the flakiness of my skin here on the wet and wild side whilst on the Maybelline it's actually getting very oily and shiny and I feel like I'm sweating on half of my face that's the disadvantage with the wet and wild one I feel like I'm gonna melt off I actually feel like I'm melting right now because this half of my face with the wet and wild it feels very heavy like nothing in forgive us lean like yeah i'm sweating i can actually tell yeah <laughs> i'm actually sweating this side because just by touching i can feel my my woman beard coming out here <laughs> so 
yeah that's the disadvantage of it wet and wild and then the fact that i don't think it's got the moisturizing maybe because it's not matte maybe because the maybelline is not matte and this one is matte okay so that's why maybe guys i'm getting flaky this side and then the side here yeah, maybelline i'm not flaky it's because the no but then they're both matte yeah, they're both matte. I mean, the Wet n Wild one says that it is matte. And then the Maybelline one says that it is matte. Okay, so maybe the Maybelline one is not doing a very good job at being matte. Hey okay, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm here to actually just shed new light. Because I know that when I was sitting there, it seemed a little bit darker. And I was very far away from the camera. So this is the side that has the wet and wild foundation i don't know if you guys can see here but like look at the spots that i have like if you touch it it's kind of as if it leaves marks like finger marks on your face do you get what i mean like it sits on the skin it doesn't get absorbed i don't know why and then whilst with the uh, fit me maybelline foundation it just stays it as it is but then the other thing that i like about the wet and wild one is that it seems to like hide everything I mean, I do look like I've got a filter on, like this side. And then this side, I look natural because how I'm seeing it is like, look at those lines here. I have, I didn't sleep last night, so I have like eye bags. But then this side, it looks like I slept. You can still see a little bit of the eye bags, but then, Nati, I slept. <laughs> so yeah, this is how it looks, guys, close up. You see what I was talking about, the marks. It's not easy to blend it. I don't know what okay but that's fine at least it does a good job at making you look like you've got a filter on your face this side i'm still happy with maybelline with new information i'm still happy with maybelline i'm sure you guys can see it now um with the new light and the new angles that i've shown you but yeah i'm gonna stick with this one i see why a lot of people on my instagram polls were saying that they would use maybelline compared to the wet and wild foundation so i agree with them the winner of the battle of the foundations is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Yeah, so many reasons why. Maybe I'm not explaining the other reasons properly, but this for me is too much. It's too heavy on the skin. Feels like Vaseline. It's making half of my face sweat and it doesn't have that moisture <laughs> that helps me stop the flakiness on my skin and it's got some sort of gray undertone but that could be my fault because i got the wrong shade this one very light doesn't even feel like i've got foundation on i don't even think i need powder for this one hey but if i put powder i'm sure it just goes smooth and i'm happy with it it's not making me sweat as i said it just feels like i applied like lotion or something it's not making me sweat it doesn't feel like i've got vaseline on my skin Disadvantage has got a yellow undertone. I look very yellow, but then as the day goes by, I, I think I prefer looking yellow than gray. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I could be wrong, but that is my analysis on both these foundations. Which one do you prefer? Which one works for you? And why do they work for you? And why doesn't it work for you? Guys, I am gonna leave you with this information. Do what you will with it. I love you all so much. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, and to share with somebody that you think definitely has to see this video. But I will see you guys on my next video. I love you all. Bye. Let you make up your mind.